The ether burner, the primary means of propulsion once the craft is in the space between stars, is undergoing testing to determine whether it can be made more efficient. What if the Scions were to solve your problem? Okay, what's Sid doing? Yo, Sid! I got a project for you, buddy. Bring Nero. Also, there's rabbits. Have fun. If Sid can figure out fucking time travel, there's no way he can't manage to get your engine working properly, right? Sid is broken, OP. More importantly, why has nobody even mentioned Sid? Why are we not grabbing Sid, man? Sid probably already has a ship like this he built for funsies five weeks ago. This is Alphano. The Scions have Sid, right? Nope. Understood. Nope. I will lead the Twelves with expedition myself. No. Nope. Magical artifacts of Alagon design. No. Nope. Start mixing the grog. Why are we forgetting about Sid? I'm certain that can be arranged. Remember. Remember us. Remember that we once lived. Revelations to Elpis Flower Lead. Um, where do you even start? They're gonna think I'm full of shit, dude. Defeat Medion. Just defeat Medion, forehead. First, determine her location, which only Heidelin knows. Wish she would share the knowledge, remains to be seen. Might have to beat it out of her. That's the second condition. Well, we gotta get there. Yep. The moon! <laughs> Presence is required. Okay. They're finally taking us seriously. Let's go. Portionella is going to stand up and be like, I am the Senate. I wonder if there are actually 99 seats, if you count them. Probably is. This guy's not got great uh, attention to detail. Oh, she... <laughs> not even... <laughs> not even the four uh, VR members can wear hats. Poor girl can't wear her lampshade, man. Feels There's bad. There's a matter I wish to raise with you before we enter. We are here to listen and to learn. But if the forum's plans are more or less what I expect, then I should like to make a proposal. That will serve our ends. Okay. I don't see why not. Your words and wits have gotten us this far. It's been a while since you've had a colossal fuck up, so sure. He still looks so grumpy about this. First, it is the form's objective to ferry the life and knowledge of this star to the moon. Am I correct? You are. Following our people, we will send those of other nations in turn, beginning with our allies. And how, pray tell, do you decide who to leave behind? I don't know, draw straws? It's a tough decision, what do you mean? To journey beyond the sky is an unprecedented and immeasurably difficult endeavor. Introducing sources of inevitable conflict would condemn all to certain death. True. No fighting inside the spaceship. Bad idea. Are your plans proceeding apace? We're under the impression that your primary means of celestial transportation is incomplete. At present, the ship is incapable of attaining speeds sufficient to meet our evacuation targets. Should we put the vessel into service, as it is now, we will be unable to travel to the moon and back quickly enough to complete the necessary number of trips. Precious lives and knowledge will be lost. Seven hells. Is there anything to be done? Uh, put the rabbits on it, dude. Juice up your ship. The ether burner, the primary means of propulsion once the craft is in the space between stars, is undergoing testing to determine whether it can be made more efficient. What if the Scions were to solve your problem? Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? We shall help devise a means to improve the ether burner's efficiency on two conditions. If we succeed, you must allow us to meet with Hydaelyn. was simple enough to deduce. You have a Concord, and so you would never have abandoned the Anti-Tower had you no other means of communication. Mm-hmm. The second condition, also to be met upon our success, is that we be permitted to propose another use for your Ark. Oh? Ah, that's how we get to Medion. The ship. <laughs> Delightful as always, Master Alfino. Oh, we couldn't have asked for a finer plan. Allow us to solve this complex engineering problem of which we were entirely unaware until moments ago. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> I find their terms to be perfectly acceptable. Order. Order! Order! We have no 
time to waste on debate. I call a vote. All in favor of agreeing to the Scion's terms? Seventy-one in favor, twenty-eight against. The eyes have it. He didn't raise his hand, did he? Wow, dude. Okay, what's Sid doing? Yo, Sid! Got a project for you, buddy. Bring Nero. Also, there's rabbits. Have fun. If Sid can figure out fucking time travel, there's no way he can't manage to get your engine working properly, right? Sid is broken, OP. It got Stormer was still alive. Yeah, he's still sleeping, dude. Anytime today, buddy. You are needed, jerk. Extended circle of associates. Sid! Sid! Come! Oh? Oh, he wants to ask us about his kids, dude. Oh, it's so sweet. Oh, he's finally not leaning on something. It looks like he wants to, but he's controlling himself. Testing ground for technologies. Terraforming, that's right, yeah. Aww. Dad wants to keep his kid away from gambling, man. It's good parenting. Think, Coco, think! We'd be well on our way to paradise. Visionaries patting themselves on the backs for their grand accomplishments if you'd only think! Yes, that does sound rather lovely. Yeah! Uh-oh. I mean, Master Porsche, oh, what a pleasant surprise. <laughs> Not seen you lot down here before. Sup? I haven't seen Sid this entire time. What is he doing? Now, about your troubles with the ether burner. More importantly, why has nobody even mentioned Sid? According to my calculations, to travel to the moon and back fast enough for the forums like him, the conversion rate needs to be 6% more efficient. Hast thou consulted with the Lopperits? It is no easy feat to convert their technology into an efficient means of propulsion for a teeny right. tiny toy boat. Can't miniaturize say, it. And as I most certainly do not. Yes, exactly. Damn it all. Oh, I asked for a fine adamantite and they send me uppity rabbits with inscrutable, ancient, incompatible technology. You're trying to drive me mad. Do you speak of Allegan refined adamantite, perchance? Mm -hmm. As I recall, the record stated it was vital to Dalamud's construction and launch. Right, that makes sense. With more? Well, that extra 6% efficiency will be child's play. It's a crying shame that we've no other sources. There's other fragments of coils, right? Drive calls from Ragnarok class internment hulks. Those are the prize bits we really need. That's what the coils already mean. Weren't we near yep. that part of the Ragnarok when we went to destroy Bahamut? Yep. White Raven's ghost haunts me. <laughs> Nail man. Oh god, the meteors. Best put that battle from your mind for now. Deep breaths. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> there are multiple internment hulks in Eorzea alone. So handling this ourselves may not be the most efficient option. Rather, if we could salvage adamantite from the shards simultaneously... Split up in the teams? Thancred, is the link shell we established before you went to Garlemald still active? Of course. The floor is yours. Why are we not grabbing Sid, man? Sid probably already has a ship like this he built for funsies five weeks ago. What's all this? Gathering firewood, so to speak. A... We alone can accomplish little. But joined by others, we may yet build a bonfire to carry us heaven's ward. Yeah. Roll credits. This is Alphano. The Scions have Sid. Needed... Right? Understood. Nope. I nope. will lead the Twelves with expedition myself. No. Nope. Magical artifacts of Allegan design? No. Nope. Start mixing the grog. Why are we forgetting about Sid? I'm certain that can be arranged. Just like that. Easy. Such devastation. Oh, was, was that was that pride I saw? Allegan something or other, the cause or solution to problems, yeah, hmm? Emmett really outdid himself with that one. How much of a fuss he made at the time, don't see why he takes every opportunity to bring it up. It was just firewood. <laughs> nah, dude, you inspired him. Achieved so much with a simple conversation, that's right. The most powerful piece of technology ever invented. The cell phone. SOMEBODY! GET SID! All the coils music. You know your duties. I, Nanamo Olnamo, 17th in the line of all. Bid 
wish you good luck and good speed. Really glad you never advocated the throne. Imagine if we had to, like, go through a fucking vote to get this done. Jesus. You'd still be bickering and debating until the fucking skies fall, man. I love democracy. And an abundance of restorative magics will be of little help in destroying Dalamud's defenses. <laughs> can't Still, just... Are you sure? Just what about the blood lily? <laughs> the blood lily's fucking destructive, man. <laughs> Give that a shot. Hey, look who's here, Alamigo. In that case, might I suggest taking us along? <laughs> I won't let it all be for nothing. I promise you, Papalima. Aww. I love how this is going back to the coils. This really is a connected world. Nothing's ever really forgotten. Oh, is that? There, there you are. Oh, oh man. We've no time to waste, brother. Everyone has already. Oh, horse farts grave. A smile better suits a hero. Hmm. Is that? A dragon's roar. No way. Is he off his ass? He's being useful. Come on, let's see it. Oh, not even the Confederacy's forgotten. Is that Sorban? Soroban! Hell yeah! Avengers assemble. <gasps> the four lords. Sir, you? I draw the line at paperwork. I'll put my lance through it. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> That's relatable, man. Did they really have to put their ETH right in a fucking pond? Yes, water good. Glad we're all on the same page there. Ooh, 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 ooh. What the fuck? Is that really what it's called? It's my opinion of grapes. Meh. I need more as an ingredient for. Yes, this is the real purpose of grapes. Here. Feel. Walk free in the light of the crystal. Basic requirements for survival. Seek to eliminate all forms of negativity to achieve perfection. Pursuit of perfection is progress. Oh, are, are we? Oh my God! Yes! Yes, dude! Fuck you, progressives! No heed to the costs incurred in their futile quest for perfection. Progressives, all too often become the architects of their own demise. Their dreams forever unfulfilled. Up yours, woke moralists. Couldn't have put it better myself, man. I didn't expect the little rabbit to be so based, man. These are facts, and facts don't care about your feelings. Never before launched. Oh yeah. Uh yeah, the first uh the first rockets we built uh didn't go so well, did they? What happened to Apollo 1? <laughs> bad things. Very bad things happened to Apollo 1, man. Remember the Challenger? Yeah. This stuff isn't easy, and when you fuck it up, people die. And you, you guys are trying to do it right the first time, so, oh god. Um, Tidalin? Nah, change your plans. I think we're gonna stay. I think we have a better chance of staying and fighting. This is so doomed, man. So you got the distress, helps in hand, yep. Should I really be doing this? I should be le leading an, an assault on a coil, right? Given the fact that I can just clear them all out on my, all on my own. Am I really just good for emotional support right now? I should be out there, man. It's all those dragons in there that need my help! They're still stuck in the fucking vats! A few moments later. What the fuck, dude? I've been around the entire area like three times now. Five minutes later. This guy's hiding behind uh, the tower, maybe? Oh. Fuck, man! Fifteen minutes later. I swear to god, these guys are like spawning later. One eternity later. Dude, I'm gonna be fucking mad when I find this guy. Ah. Finally, dude, Jesus. It would behoove you to consult with Sleeping Way. As our moon's pilot, his advice should be most pertinent. That's not encouraging. I'm impressed. Truth be told, I struggle to tell one from another. God, where is it? What would they think if they could see Urianger now? I dare say they'd be more than a bit surprised. And impressed, no doubt. Master Louis Soir, Minfilia, Papa Limo, and not to forget. Oh yeah, he was always off on his own in the back, and now, aww. He gets his own character arc, too. Oh there. Heard there was a visiting expert who we might bother with a few questions. 
I take it you'd be the one. Yeah, yes, I am. Uh oh, what's wrong? Wilson and Blavida, Charlian's foremost researchers oh. in the human teleportation magic, and Moonbreeder's parents. You never bothered. You never gave them condolences. You were too busy. You put it off. Now they're pissed. It, it hath been some time. Tis, tis good to see you in uh, good health. Never expected this reunion, though, did we, dear? Sorry, man. Too busy saving the world. Your daughter was like a year ago. Get over it. I'll say the nerve. Sending that letter, then running off to the gods know where. To the moon? I'm sure you understand. Aww. Oh my god! Do you have any idea how worried we were? <laughs> Of her hands. I. I'm sorry. Twas remiss of me not to deliver the news in person. No, more than that. Twas I who. Don't blame yourself for her death. Celebrate her life. You know that's what she want. If there is one thing we resent you for. It was that we couldn't be there to mourn her with you. Aww. I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. Yeah, I'm fucking... What do you mean, what do you mean just about that, dude? Fucking Midgard Somers, why Horsefart's dead too. Jerk. You shrug off ultimate end from Thord and like five minutes later. Win. Which is obviously yeah, way stronger than that dinky little lightning spear, right? So... Difference without blessing and with blessing is like vast. To see the boy, our daughter trusted and believed in more than anyone, grow into the man she always knew he could be. I can see her in you too. Feel her. She walks with you wheresoever you go. So thank you, Orianger, for being who you are. Mm. I I think I can feel her too. Aww. The truth of her life, not sorrow, but hope. And love. Yes, yes, this is all very nice, but the the world is literally ending. Are we done? We literally have a million better things to do. She was important to him, wasn't she? Watching this exchange reminds me how much I've yet to learn about your world. And it's people. You guys don't even die of old age, do you? Yeah, you fucking How do you even communicate that to these people? You can live here your entire life and hardly learn a thing. Most do. And that's why it's too soon for this to end. Do, do, do they have to make that fucking noise every time? Ali say. Oh god, you're gonna die soon. No, dude. Oh, this guy thinks he's so cool, man. You think you're so cool, huh? Special delivery. Little Lord. How'd I come to be involved in this? Well, somebody's not using my fucking talents properly. Oh, I say it's here. Okay, that's what, she, that's what it is. Carried all of that at once. Yeah, dude, she's she's fucking strong, man. They're lighter than they look. Not everyone has your delicate arms. Yeah! Oof, dude. They called the girly man by your, by your little sister, dude. Yikes. We're delivering paperwork, woo! Bureaucracy simulator. Yeah, we're supposed to work on the ether burner, but we're, we're looking for juicy gossip about their parents right now. Very good use of our time. World's not ending or anything. Imagine what these engineering wonks would say if they could, like, react to this. Wait. No, you're not scavenging my lander off. Hands off. Not much left for you to do. Get the adamantite any faster. Are we finally gonna go do stuff for fuck's sake? Yes. 
The world is ending and we're the strongest thing on the face of the planet. Let's just wait around. Alphano, are you there? It's me, Cryo. Your special delivery has arrived. Round up everyone and come to the harbor at once. Holy. Yeah, man. Amazon Prime two-day delivery, dude. Oh. What? What the fuck? Holy shit, how much did you bring? You brought the entire fucking coil, dude! What's that? Is that the fucking... Oh! That's, that, that's the... the, the actors! Surely, these can't all be... Oh, yay! Got your adamantite right here. A bigger haul than any of these sorry bastards brought, and that's no lie. Damn right. Look at a monolon, man. Ain't no way a scrawny whelp like you took a dozen steps inside a Dalaman shard. I'll have you know I went all the way to the entrance. <laughs> oh, Aw, oh, Soraban. Grand welcome party. All consented to the lending of Tenzin's legendary Phoenix Blade for this noble cause. Holy shit. We did, of course, need quite the impressive vessel to get it all here in time. This is so cool that they helped with this, man. Fortunately, our majestic associates have been more than helpful. It is an honor to join the Warrior of Light on another adventure. Oh, this bonus dialogue is so good. That is all wonderful to hear, but what of the extraordinary cost? <laughs> what? Don't let the name fool you. This coin keeper hey. has a lot of spending. You've been busy. When it comes to capital investiture, a sprinkling of gill here and there will not do. You need enough savings to make waves when it really counts, which is why frugality is paramount. Hell yeah, little Elon Musk over here, man. We also have the benefit of a generous patron. Generous being rather an understatement. Oh? She has supported us from the shadows since the very founding of the Scions. Yeah, we even had coffers to fill. Oh? Oh, mom! None of them had any idea. She's like, it's like, God damn it, we're getting a divorce! I don't even know you anymore! <laughs> Waste not. Oh my god. That's where she got it from. That's cool. Oh, the poor guy, man. Is there some, like, side quest where Sid, like, catches AIDS and dies or something? Like, where the fuck is he, dude? Hey, finally, dude! Jesus! Should've been the What's first call you made! To the moon? Thank you, game! There's Nero, too! And why didn't you mention it sooner? Stick it what I've been saying! Okay. Your problem's a bloody ship that can fly to the moon. Right! Alpha's there too! Aww. Fascinating as all this is, I fail to see how it explains your presence here. Vitra! Does Wazat Han not have more pressing concerns? Vitra! We do. Yet averting the final days would be the most expedient solution. That... And I am indebted to you. I guess he can't exactly land on the docks. He's a big old fucking dragon in the middle of Charlie and can he? Yeah, he's gotta send his proxy. You will recall that I spoke of my father, Midgard Sumer, mm -hmm. and his journey across the great expanse. Who is still sleeping, by the way. As he traveled betwixt the stars, his resplendent scales drank of the ether in those nigh empty surrounds and imparted to him the strength to persevere. Mm -hmm. Thinking they might further your cause, I called out to my kin for consent. Oh? Ashdaya's answer was silence, as ever. Oh, so, he's, so he's still out there? He just doesn't talk to anybody? Tiamat and Chris Velgre, however, responded favorably to the suggestion. Aww. My sire, too, Stirred from his slumber long enough oh? to speak and say, Very well. Jeez, he finally woke up, dude, for like two seconds. Thus have I brought you his own worm scales. Oh! A worthy of fate for us all. Let's go! 
get a 6% gain of efficiency. With all these goodies, we could get 7, no? 10, no? 14 bleeding percent. Easy. <gasps> if Kokol is duly convinced, then it must be true. In which case, the science end of the bargain has been fulfilled. Would you not agree? I'm pr 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 proud of you. Hug? Hug? Do you understand? And are you prepared? Mm hmm We have seen and we have felt how much each life shapes this world. And so we are determined to abandon none. We understand what is at stake. And we are prepared to bear this burden. Hug? Then I... I will bear it with you. Aww. I beg you, share your struggles with me. As family. Hug, come on. You grasped my fingers with such tiny hands the day you were born. I thought my heart might burst. It was love and happiness beyond expression. Overwhelming. And a conviction so powerful that I trembled with something close to rage. Mm. I had heard the final days foretold. I swore to myself then and there that I would not let them steal your futures. It was all for them. <laughs> I was wrong. You two have grown so much stronger and so much wiser than I dared dream. Aww. You have earned the right to walk your own path and already begun to do so. <laughs> We're about to go after the literal incarnation of despair. You want to come with, Dad? <laughs> we'll be fine, I promise. I've made a huge mistake. Perhaps you can spare a few words ere they resume the tedious lugging of cargo. You have no small number of friends and admirers here after all. Oh, Randy, give a fucking speech? I don't know how to give a speech. Graha, you do it. I don't lead people, I just kill them. Da, 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 da. Our moment of triumph is close at hand! Let's go! Monstrously difficult to locate Sid? Why? Did you have phones? Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys all have phones. Phone. Phone. Right. <sighs> At least he showed up eventually, man. It would have made absolutely no sense if Sid had just been forgotten about. This motherfucker literally invented time travel. You think he can't figure out how to get a fucking rocket to go faster? He could probably figure out how to just teleport everything up there in like an afternoon. You more than anyone should have been like, that should have been the first thing you did. This motherfucker literally sent you like a hundred years in the past to a different world with your tower. <sighs> Whatever. Not how I would have written it.